Let's face it, playing a spirited game of fetch is more fun when your dog is free to run and play, and you're free from worry. That's the idea behind the Have a Heart Fence-Free Underground Wired Pet Containment System. As its name implies, the fence-free system frees both you and your dog from being tied to a leash or a stake in the ground. Its state-of-the-art intelligent electronics help to train your dog to stay within the boundaries you set. Through training, your dog learns to recognize the boundary visually, aided by training flags, and through a tone and or a corrective static stimulus transmitted through the receiver collar that's worn by your dog. Built-in safety features provide a secure play and exercise area for him and peace of mind for you. The Have a Heart Fence-Free System delivers a series of corrections to teach your dog not to run through the boundary. When your dog runs toward the boundary, a warning tone is first emitted. If he continues toward the fence boundary, the collar emits another warning tone, along with a low-level static correction. If your dog still continues to move toward the boundary, he receives the full-level static correction you have set. The fence-free system is designed for dogs six months and older and weighing over eight pounds, so do not use the system for puppies. Be sure to consult your veterinarian before use if your dog has health problems. While the Have a Heart Fence-Free system is designed for easy installation, allow adequate time to complete each step and follow the instructions closely. This initial investment in time and energy will result in long-term rewards for you and your dog. Before proceeding with installation, contact your utility company to mark off phone, electric, and cable lines. Design the boundary by first taking a good look at your property and including things like trees, flower gardens, and sheds. Keep your fence 10 feet away from a neighbor's underground fence to avoid signal interference. When designing your boundary, remember that the boundary wire must make one continuous loop to maintain a complete signal. This signal is transmitted from one terminal of the transmitter mounted in your home, through the wire, and back to the other transmitter terminal. Also consider the signal field width in your design. The signal width is the area on both sides of the boundary wire that activates the correction your dog receives. Ideally, the total signal field width should be 6 to 8 feet. This will provide a 3 to 4 foot correction area on either side of the boundary wire. Your dog will also stay back another two to four feet from the edge of the signal field to avoid the warning tone. So be sure to consider these distances to avoid making passageways too narrow for your dog. The heart of the Have a Heart Fence-Free System is the transmitter. You can easily mount the transmitter on any interior wall of your home or garage near a standard outlet. Simply plug the power adapter into the wall outlet and plug the other end into the transmitter. Your transmitter features lightning and surge protection, as well as easy to use controls to quickly connect or disconnect the boundary wire and make system adjustments. A clear LED window always tells you when your fence boundary loop is complete and secure. After you've determined a boundary design appropriate for your property, you're ready to start installing the Have a Heart Fence-Free Boundary Wire. Start by connecting one end of the boundary wire to the transmitter. Following your design, lay the wire on the ground. Do not bury the wire until you have tested the system and are sure it is working properly. When laying the wire, avoid sharp corners. Using rounded turns will produce a more consistent signal field and avoid confusing your dog in these areas. Be sure to also stay at least six feet away from any utility lines or obstacles. Cancel the signal in areas where you don't want your dog to receive a correction, such as inside the garage or on the driveway area close to the house. To complete the signal loop, connect the other end of the boundary wire to the transmitter. Turn the unit on. The loop light will illuminate, indicating that the fence loop is complete. To prepare the Have a Heart fence-free collar for testing, simply remove the probes and collar strap and, using a coin to open the cover, install the provided battery. Push the on-off button located on the back of the collar and hold it for two seconds. A green light will illuminate and the collar will buzz, indicating it is ready to go. Before burying the fence-free boundary wire, 
test it by turning on the transmitter mounted in your home and setting the desired signal field width. As mentioned earlier, the fence-free system allows you to adjust the signal field width to control the correction area. You can select from five signal field width settings, ranging from 3 feet to 24 feet. Adjust this field width based on your yard size and the temperament of your dog. You can make this adjustment by pressing the field width arrow button on the transmitter. Have a Heart recommends setting a 6 to 8 foot total signal field to ensure the best operation of the warning tone and the run through protection feature. Hook up the heart shape tester to the collar probes and slowly walk the collar toward the boundary wire. You will hear a warning tone and see the test light illuminate. Once you've confirmed that the system is working, you can bury the wire. Using a spade or edging tool, cut approximately half an inch into the ground, following the boundary pattern of the wire you've laid on the ground. Start digging near the wall-mounted transmitter and continue around the path of wire. Push the wire into the ground and cover it with dirt or turf. To cross an asphalt driveway, make a half-inch deep cut using a circular saw and masonry blade. Place the wire in the crack and seal. The Have a Heart fence-free collar utilizes smart technology and built-in protection features to increase effectiveness of the system and training of your dog. In order to protect your dog if he becomes confused or trapped in the signal field, the smart collar will stop the static correction after 10 seconds, avoiding the possibility of overcorrection. The collar will then wait 30 seconds, allowing your dog to retreat to his safe roaming area and will then revert to normal operation. An additional smart collar feature includes an automatic collar sleep mode. When your dog is still, the collar automatically reverts to sleep mode, saving battery life. The collar automatically wakes up when your dog starts to move. The collar will also indicate when it's time to replace the battery. To set the correction level on the collar, turn it on. The red light will blink. The number of blinks corresponds to the tone and stimulus setting on the collar. One blink means it is set at level one and your dog will receive a tone only correction. Two blinks means it is set to level two and will transmit a low level static correction and so on up to level six, the highest stimulation. Always start with and use the lowest level necessary to get the desired response from your pet. In order for the collar to work effectively, proper fit is important. It should fit snugly on your dog, but not tight. You should be able to slide one finger between your pet's coat and the training collar, and the probes should maintain contact with the skin. Proper placement of all the flags is a critical element in effectively training your dog. Turn on both the collar and the wall transmitter in your home to activate your system. Standing inside your yard, walk toward the fence wire while carrying the collar and place the flags at the spot where you first hear the warning tone activated on the collar. Repeat this process, placing a flag every four to six feet around your entire perimeter. Your commitment to training your pet is a key factor in the success of the Have a Heart fence-free system. Plan to spend 10 to 20 minutes three to four times a day to train your pet. Consistency is important. There are a total of four steps to training, with each step taking approximately three days for your dog to fully understand the meaning of the flags, warning tone, and corrections. Soon, he will learn to enjoy his safe roaming area. Thank you for making the Have a Heart brand a part of your pet's safety and well-being.